I mean, this sounds like a headline out of The Onion, you know, that satire thing that's supposed to be a joke. Chinese scientists are experimenting with a mutant COVID-19 strain that, when used on humanized mice, it means that they change the immune systems to more closely approximate our own. They found it so far to be 100 percent lethal. And people in the scientific community are either like, meh, or as long as they keep it controlled, you know, this is OK. Oh, it's not Wuhan. It's Beijing. So, you know, it's fine. What is wrong with us? This is exactly what we suspect happened with COVID-19. Oh, but as long as it's controlled, yeah, it wasn't controlled. And that's how the world got sick. Now, there are all these scary details about what happened to the mice. Look, I don't care about that. You can look up online and you can find what happened to the mice and how freaky it was. And it's the nonchalance. I haven't even heard anything from the U.S. government. I missed this story. That's how stupid I am, okay? I missed this story when it is the best indication of exactly how so many believe COVID-19 got out, that the Chinese or someone else were experimenting on COVID-19 and how to make it even worse, and then it got out. Former Assistant Secretary for Health, U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, Dr. Brett Giroir, joins us now. I wish I could say he's still in there, so it would sound like somebody gave a damn about this. But I haven't even read anything from the U.S. government about their response uh, to this reporting. What is your take on it, Doc? Uh, good to be with you again, Chris. I'm very concerned about this, both in what the content was of the study, but also what's between the lines. Uh, what they did is what we think they did exactly with COVID. They took a virus, this time out of a pangolin, that anteater kind, instead of a bat, and they let it mutate in the laboratory. Originally, that virus was not harmful to humanized mice. They let it mutate. They found a strain that mutated that was 100% lethal by killing all your brain cells. That's pretty frightening. Now, who is the author of this study? The Hospital of the People's Liberation Army of China and a medical center that is predominantly funded by the Chinese military. And what makes me even more suspicious and concerned is that I don't know what laboratory conditions, but there's certainly no BSL-4 laboratory. So this had to be done in a much lower containment. And the final thing, which I think is, I, I hate to think of all the, all the things that this could be, but they said, we know why it's lethal. There are two changes in that spike protein but they never tell us what it is. So they're hiding that from the world community. So in case a disaster happened, we're still in the dark. And I think this should go to the President Biden. I really do. I think President Biden ought to demand that President Xi provide the genetic sequence of this virus so we know what it is and why it became so lethal that our people can at least understand it in case something happens catastrophically. That's my opinion. I can't believe I'm not we're a crazy having this guy. conversation. I can't believe we're having this conversation, Brett. I'll be honest. I mean, you and I have talked so many times. I only remember <laughs> about half of them because I was sick uh, for some of them, I had the brain fog. Um, but, you know, there's so many people who are suffering. Congress is going crazy about Fauci like he's Dr. Frankenstein, and they're quiet on this. It really shows you what people actually care about. I can't believe the Biden administration is quiet about this. I can't believe it. They're desperate to show that they're doing something good for someone in the country. Here's your opportunity. Here's your opportunity. OK, this was a pandemic. They're doing the exact same thing now. Congress is going after Fauci. Go after this. Does it make any sense that this has gone so unexploded as a story? Well, to, to me, it doesn't make sense. You know, I learned about it uh, on the Newswire this morning when, when News Nation contacted me. I pulled the articles, did all the research, and uh, it's quite frightening. And I, I think it's the, you know, if I did it report of exactly what they did with COVID. This is what we speculated. They did not purposely humanly engineer the virus, but they put it in the laboratory, let it mutate, then pick the worst strains. Right. Um, so Look, all I know, you know is this, I think Brett, this is the reason. Somebody won't let you investigate. OK, if somebody won't let you look. All right. They're worried about what you're going to find. OK, it's just basic human nature. I'm going to stay on this. 
We're going to make a bunch of phone calls to everybody who's supposed to be looking at this stuff uh, for the U.S. taxpayers. And I appreciate you for leading the way. Brett Giroir, thank you very much. It's good to see you again. Thank you, Chris. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of NewsNation's fact-driven coverage.